Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the how you can help, which brings up the Family for the Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. Hey everybody, Paul Burry, Family for the Gaming. This is an FG Politics on Redefiners. Now, my personal belief is that the Redefiners are the biggest danger in the world today. And, and I'll kind of try to explain that. I've talked about this a little bit, touched on the topic a little bit in other videos. Um, the redefiners are people who are redefining words, institutions. Um, they're deciding that they want a different moral and ethic system. And, and, and a lot of it is the exact opposite of how America was founded. America was created and how America has been uh, run for such a long time. So you kind of go back to the history of it. In the 1920s, you had these, these group of people who started this movement and it didn't really pick up or gain any steam until the 1960s. So in the 1960s, they uh, had the, you know, the peace, love, man, movement. And in that, they tried to redefine love. <clears throat> so instead of God is love, they decided that doing whatever you wanted, however you wanted, whenever you wanted, that was love. And then letting people do whatever they wanted was love. 1970s, they started to redefine what had been always known as mental illness and, and tried to redefine that as normal. 80s, it was words. 90s, we started getting history. Two th early 2000s, they really started attacking institutions like marriage. And what we've come to, especially in America, is we've got two different systems now. We've got two different morals and ethics. And kind of like I mentioned in another video, we can't even communicate. So, classic case in point. You say, you know what? I value and honor traditional definitions, traditional marriage, traditional um, opinions, and, and all of this. And uh, you know, a lot of people on the right are like, awesome, good job, good for you. Pat you on the back. It's good to hear you're, you're doing that, brother. Appreciate you. On the left, well, you're just such a hater. You're a toxic psycho, right? You're a, you're a racist, sexist, homophobe. Because that's how they redefine traditional, right? So they look at the word traditional, and to them, they're like, you're supporting slavery. And you're like, no, never said that. Traditional morals, ethics, and values. And you might be like, well, then, 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 then they won't ever bother to ask, but the you can sit, I can sit there and explain what those really are. Those really are obedience to God versus rebellion. So what they're doing over here is they're rebelling against God, and we're saying we're going to be obedient to God. There's a big difference. And, and so you go, you know, where are you supposed to go from there when they, they call it, well, they got this narrative, and they've got that narrative, and we've got two different narratives, and there's all these narratives going around. No, there's truth and there's lies. It's what it comes down to. Jesus Christ said, let your yes be yes, your no be no. Anything else comes from the evil one. Ultimately, I believe what he said was true. I believe he was being genuine, honest, and he was the real deal. Now, you can disagree with me, and that's fine. But you have to sit there and notice that we can't even communicate if one side has one set of definitions for words and institutions, and the other side has different. You might be like, well, let the, the new people get their way. Why? Here, here, here's, here's an interesting um, a quandary for you. If they have the moral and ethical right to redefine words, institutions, morals and ethics, why don't we? If they have the right to, to do this, so do we, and we can actually have more of a moral ethical right that's to return it to the original values, right? You sit there and say, well, one equals two, and we go, no. They go, we're going to redefine one to be two. We go, no, no. One is one. Two is two. Three is three. We're not going to sit there and do that. We have, the, we have just as much right 
to put it back from how they broke it, because that's how I look at it. They're trying to break it. You know, but but until people have this like honest conversation about the definition of words and you either, you know, you keep them as they were or you sit there and say, you know what? We arrogantly think we know better than 6,000 years of history. Really? Really? You arrogantly think you know better than 6,000 years of history? And you, you say all those people for 6,000 years were wrong? I mean, I think, I think we know who's being arrogant here because they're the ones who are spitting on all of our traditions and history from the past. And, and you got to go, well, then some things change over time. Yeah, they do. There are things that change over time. But you can't sit there and say, rebellion against God is honoring him. No, it's not. It's still rebellion against God. You know, I don't care how much you fluff it up. If you take a cow patty and you get the most awesome bun and the most awesome lettuce and the most awesome pickles and the most awesome onions and then you get the most awesome uh, condiments that you personally prefer and put them on there and put the most amazing bun on a cow patty, it's still a cow patty. I don't care how much you try to fluff it up. You're not changing the reality of what it is. And that's how I, I feel about the Redefiners. That, that First off, I think they're arrogant. That they think they know better than everyone else. And that they're spitting on the history of people in the past. And I think they're, they're the ones who've caused all the division in America. You know, I had, had another FG Politics about why America won't heal. And it, it comes to, in my opinion, the Redefiners. They've decided they know better than everyone else. And you have to all follow and obey them. And I go, no, 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 no. I follow and obey God, okay? I'm going to obey Him over man every time. And if that means I, I get, I get, you know, executed in the street and shot and murdered by you know, these toxic haters, then I accept a persecution and a death for, for God. And, and that's the thing. They're not going to ever change my opinion on this topic. I'm not going to sit there and go... Oh yeah, you know, now I'm going to sit there and call the sky green and the grass orange because they said to. No, not going to happen. They can, they can kill me. They can imprison me. They can do all kinds of hateful things to me. In fact, many times they already do. If you've seen the invasions on our Discord channel, you know they do. That this is what, this is how they think. They think they have to oppress and force everyone into their uh, mindset with violence and oppression and persecution, and they seem to think that they have a right to be this evil. And what they're doing is evil. Don't make no bones about it. When they're running around and attacking people that they disagree with, like, I disagree with the Redefiners, but I'm not going to go have them shot in the street. I, I'm doing a video to expose them publicly to sit there and go, this is a problem. You see this, you know it's a problem, and I verbally correct it whenever I'm allowed to. There are instances I come into where I'm not allowed to say anything, you know, but that's life, you know, and that's part of being mature. It's like, you know what, like I had, uh, I think I wrote an article about live and let live. If people want this exact, exact opposite moral and ethical system, and they want to live that way, go for it. Just don't sit there and tell all the rest of us we have to, too. So that's all our thoughts I have on this topic. I thank everyone for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.